Where's Scott? Scott? Neighbors in TVK are looking for Councilman Scott Shirley. He called for a meeting at City Hall with town citizens early Friday afternoon to discuss controversial comments he made over the last year. We had always thought he had done a lot of reckless things before he was running for office, and then he won, and we thought he would mature and uh, take the governing job seriously. But unfortunately, uh, he still goes off like a loose cannon whenever somebody challenges him. But when neighbors arrived to challenge Shirley in council chambers, the building was closed and Shirley wasn't there. We called the councilman to hear his side of the issue. Our call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. But he didn't answer. I definitely wanted to get off work early um, and to show my support because this is not, he is not representing Tiga K at all. I've lived here for 22 years. This is not who we are. Well, I think it's extra comical that they posted a sign that they closed City Hall early just for this today. Neighbors were greeted with a sign on the City Hall door that read, City Hall is closed due to short staffing and illness. We will resume normal operations on Monday, December 5th. Shows a lot of, uh, you know, how, how much they're willing to talk to the public about this. This is one of the posts that has neighbors outraged, where Shirley started off a statement saying, Dear Mr. President, a.k.a. Pedophile Joe. Another post from Shirley's Facebook page references the home break-in and hammer attack of Paul Pelosi, the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. When one commenter responded saying, is this the kind of compassion and respect that I should expect from a child of God? Shirley responded, he is a disgusting old man, a sexual deviate, a serial DUI offender and menace to public safety and society. He got what he asked for. That is the difference between me and many. I like the accountability for people's actions. That is godly. To show up for a conversation with the residents would be uh, holding himself accountable for that. And we certainly... Uh, do not want that type of representation coming from Scott Shirley. It's embarrassing and it's humiliating.